Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and in this RAF video, I am going to be doing a guide on the new renovation update. This is not a chapter update, just to be clear, this is a renovation, more of an aesthetic and adding of decorations to the game. But I'm really excited about this, and there are some great things that they've added, so let's go ahead and get started. They've added in a lot of new creatures to this update that are more for aesthetic design, and I'm really glad that they took attention to pay close mind to the creatures that are in the ocean. One of the things that they've added were the stingrays, which is what you see here, as well as some sea turtles that look so darn cute. The detail on them is really, really good. The other thing that they added are dolphins that actually jump out of the water. They're so cute. They've also added in these ducks, geese, not really sure exactly what they are, but this is just me getting an aerial view. They don't come down, they just fly overhead and make the little squawking noise that you hear. And the last animal that I noticed that they added is this behemoth of a whale. Listen to it! I'm so excited that they added all this new stuff. It's absolutely insane. So much detail, the ocean is so much more interesting now. And if you're lucky enough, you can see his, see his tail flap above the water like that. They're so awesome. One of the first things you can do while getting into Raft is go up to the workbench and you will see that there is an engine control. And I'm really happy that they added this because this is a long time coming. Um, I've already had all the stuff researched from the previous updates and the previous chapters, but engine controls allows you to control all engines from one spot definitely needed. So go ahead and learn that. Once you have researched your circuit board, your bolt, your titanium ingot, and your scrap. And at the top right, you've learned engine controls. There we go. Let's go ahead and craft that and build it. The engine control costs six scrap, six titanium ingot, very expensive, two bolts, and one circuit board. Once you have all of the materials, go ahead and craft that. And this is something that you can place down. When you are ready to put it down, you don't have to put it on the same level as your engines, which I thought was a really nice addition. If you want to, you can have it set up right next to your wheel for easy access or right next to your receiver. And it works pretty simplistically. It has a power icon right there, and then it has a reverse or a forward position as well. So let's go ahead and press E to turn it on. And I am moving forward right now, so my engines are moving clockwise. But if I want to go in reverse, all I would have to do is go over here, click this button, and now they're moving anti-clockwise. But I don't want to go that way, so let's click this button here and have it go forward. This is one of my most favorite additions to the game that they've added, the engine control. It's I, it's so simplistic, and it was so necessary, so it, my favorite addition thus far. But let's go on to some of the other things that they've added. With the renovation update, they've added a total of 65 new items that you can use to decorate your raft. And I've noticed that there are three different ways that you can collect the new decorations. The first way is by collecting barrels that are floating out at sea. You have a very small chance of picking up a package from those, but I will say this, in my opinion, that is the fastest way that you will collect all 65 of your packages. Now, there is another way that you can get it, and that is by using the metal detector. However, for those of you guys who have not progressed further into Raft, you will not be able to use the metal detector because you need the blueprint from Tanjiro Island or one of those islands in particular, one of the later ones that they've added from chapter two. So the metal detector might not be an option for you. So what's the third way then? Well, the third way that you can collect the packages is from crates that you find on like animal islands up at the very tip top or inside of the caves in the animal islands. You can pick up packages through those means. This is what the new crate looks like as it floats out at sea. And you do have a small chance of picking up one of the packages out of these new boxes. And here you can see that after I hook this one, it does give me the package that I can then open. And when you are ready to open it, you can just drag it onto one of your hot bars and hold left mouse button down on it. And it'll have the animation that you're ripping open a package. And in the top right, it'll tell you what you have learned. 
But like I said, you can also get them out of the regular barrels. In my inventory, there you go. I do have one of the packages from a regular barrel floating out at sea. Using the metal detector is also a really good way that you can get packages, but keep in mind that you're not guaranteed a package every time you go to a place to dig. And depending on how big the island is, sometimes you'll get up to three digs at an island, which can take a while to go to island to island. But there, I pick up a package that I can then use to open. I like actually using the metal detector because it gives me a reason to go out and collect some other resources that are a little bit more rare, like titanium or some of the other random stuff that can pop out of those, those digs. As I've said before, do not rely entirely on the metal detector to give you the packages because sometimes you'll just get titanium or whatever that you get out of digs and you can only get up to three digs on some of the larger islands. Another thing, you don't have to open your packages as soon as you get them. If you want to stockpile them up somewhere and open them all at once like a nice big gift opening, you can do that. The other thing I want to address is that no, you do not get duplicates. I've opened up every single one of my 65 packages and I did not receive any duplicates at all, which was really nice. And this is me stockpiling up my packages. I couldn't help myself. I had to stockpile them up. But these were the last packages that I needed to open in order for me to learn all of the new decoration items that were added. And I did fast forward the time up a little bit because opening up close to 50 packages was a little bit time consuming here. But you need to keep one thing in mind that I noticed when I was doing this. Make sure that you pause after opening each, each item because I noticed with one of them, that mine did not register in the top right hand corner that I had learned something new. So make sure that you do pause if you are doing something like I've done here where you stockpile a bunch of these together to open them all up at once. After you do open all 65 packages, you will receive the hidden achievement called the Renovator, which is where you learn all of the 65 crafting recipes from packages. They've also updated the paintbrush. If you hold right mouse button down, you will have this option up here towards the top. I do have all of the colors on my hotbar too, so that I can play around with the different paint styles that are available. But if you hold down right mouse button, you have the two wheels. On the left, you have primary, what you see here. And on the right, you have secondary. And if you click that, it'll be highlighted, but by default, it's off. Primary means that you are painting with one color. Secondary means that you have two colors that you're painting with. If I just have primary selected and I have burgundy, which requires red and black, which tells me at the bottom, then I'm going to paint in one color. You have those eight different styles right there, but that's only used with secondary colors. And I'll show that off in a second. But if I paint with the one primary, this is what it's gonna look like, the generic old style. And if I click secondary, it's going to highlight that color wheel a little bit brighter. And let's go ahead and select a secondary color here. And we also wanna make sure that we have a pattern selected. And yes, I do. And bam, there you go. That red and that white creates that pattern there. And you could paint a lot of new other things as well too. Let's go ahead and select a different style and a different pattern with different colors and paint that. And there you go. Uh, different types of styles that you have available to you. Now, if you really like something that you had painted before in the past, if, if I wanted that red and that white again, it saves the history right there. So you don't ever have to forget about what you had painted that color, what that color was before. It tells you exactly what it was. But like I said, you don't have to paint with secondary. If you don't like the secondary options with the designs, you can unclick that and you can paint just generic colors, just basic flat colors if you want. It's entirely up to you how you want to decorate and design your raft with the new painting options. One of the last things I'm going to point out to you guys is with the hammer. When you have a hammer equipped and you hold right mouse button down, you will notice by default that you have more options to build from. Basically, you have more what is now called the solid wood structures. But not only that, they've added some of the new types of roofs that are really important and new. For those of you who like to build big houses with roofs and everything, you have what are called like T-junctions, L-junctions, X-junctions, end caps, and you have the pyramid roof. Making your building and raft a little bit more unique and different than what it used to be before. The thing that you wanna keep in mind is that you do not need to learn these Ingrams in order to build this. You will automatically have this as long as you have a hammer and you have the resources to build it. But I will say this, they are a little bit more expensive than the previous stuff. And you can cycle through all of these and take a look at the things that you would like to build. 
what you are looking at here is just a small sampling of some of the new building options. Keep in mind that the new smooth wooden stuff does cost a lot more. However, don't fret, don't worry. If you did build your raft out of the older stuff and you want to upgrade it to the newer stuff, all you have to do is go down towards the repair by holding right mouse button, go over to where it says replace with solid wood, and anything that you guys have that is the older material, you can replace it. So if you see I'm hovering over the old staircase and I can just highlight that and repair it, and put it down as the newer staircase. But you need to make sure that you have the right amount of stuff in your inventory in order to do that. Keep in mind, I am in creative mode. I just wanted to show you the difference, by the way, compared from the old wall to the new wall. And I know that some of you who are diehard old school rafters are probably going to keep some of the older aesthetic look to it, and that's perfectly fine. However, I will say that the devs have done an absolutely amazing job, and I'm really happy for this this little renovation update that they've done. This is the old floor compared to the new floor looks incredibly insane. And if we were to go back and reinforce it, by the way, that's what the old floor looks like reinforced. And that's what the new floor looks like reinforced. Like I proper like this new floor. It looks really good. The new railing, the new poles, the supports, they even added different types of roof types that you can work around and play with now. Like so many more different options and the new walls themselves, like the windows look so clean and organized. I'm really excited to play this. I'm really excited to do my new build with you all. I'm in creative mode at the moment just to show you guys off all of the new stuff because building it is going to cost a lot of resources that I don't really want to use on my raft at the moment because I am going to be rebuilding mine with you all later on. But just to go over a few things, the trash can, you put your stuff in here and if you want to you can go ahead and get rid of it like that and that would work out with the collection nets on the sides. You have different types of chairs, and yes, you can paint those. These are the three different types of stools. The singular chair right here, that's like a couch, a love seat right here, and then a sectional. And keep in mind, guys, you can paint all of these. These are the tables next. There's a total of 65 items, by the way, like I said, and pretty much everything looks amazing. This right here is one of the shelves. This is just the regular wooden shelf, and you have two options, by the way. You can have it against a wall, or you could have it standing alone. And the next is the big bookshelf, and again, standing alone by itself, right here, or against a wall. Then you have the more basic looking kind of shelf, the one that kind of suits the raft's aesthetics towards the beginning of the game. And then you have the one where it's the same thing mounted on the wall right there. You have cupboards here, and believe it or not, they actually do have an inventory that's quite small. But again, for aesthetics, it's actually nice that it also serves as a function. This one you can actually mount onto a wall, but these ones here you can't. These are nice little dresser drawers that would look, would look really good in a bedroom. Fireplace here with a little wood stack. You have the smoking little stack here, the, the, the fire pit, and then you have the new lantern that looks absolutely beautiful. You can hang it, you can have it on a wall, you can have it down on the ground, up to you. And then there's four different paintings and you can paint the frames. You also have the four different types of motivational quotes that you can see there. You have flower vases, let's go ahead and put away the paintbrush so you can see this properly. But you have roses. Daffodils, Monstera, Cactus, Aloe Vera, and Hibiscus plant. You have a pile of books, one type, two types, a pile of papers, a book that has some cool stuff written inside, Ain't My Potato, <laughs> stupid seagull. Uh, you have some candles here that can also be mounted on the wall. You have these string lights like this and they can hang from the ceilings as well too. The mug, cutlery, you have a globe, a quill, and a new clock. You also have curtains that do work. You can close them. You have two different types, and yes, you can paint them. You have a toilet, <laughs> a toilet, a bathtub, some rugs, a new fancy bed that you can paint the sheets. Um, you also have flags. These flags can be mounted on a wall or they can go up high, it's up to you. And that was my guide on the new renovation update for Raft. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it has, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more notifications when I upload next. Until then, I'll see you next time. And by the way, this is a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be building with you guys on my next episode of Raft. So until then, stay tuned and I'll see you later.